Jane Winfield Middle School and welcome to the Crow's Nest. I'm Isabella and I'm Brantley and today is Wednesday, February 28, 2018. At this time, let us pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our message for today is about living a life of purpose. Sometimes you need to make an adjustment and revise your goals. Don't let that discourage you from working toward your dreams. Setting goals for yourself is one of the most important things that you as a student can do. When you look at set goals on a day-to-day -day basis, rather than looking at all of your tasks at once, you are more likely to stay motivated and focused. The first thing we are going to take a look at is proper goal setting. When it comes to goal setting, there are two types of goals you can set for yourself. Long-term and short-term goals. Long-term goals are important because it allows you to set an objective that you want to work towards. It is easy to lose motivation if you do not set any long-term goals for yourself. If you don't care about what you learn in your courses, then you most likely won't care about what your final marks may be. You have to ask yourself questions like, what do I want to accomplish? And, how will I do this? Short-term goals are steps that help you answer the first questions you asked yourself. By setting daily and weekly goals, you can work your way in small doses in order to come closer to your long-term goal. Without short-term goals, it can be easy to get overwhelmed by your long-term ambitions, creating unwanted stress. Grouping your work so that you think of it in smaller bits makes it easier to approach than the whole project at once. When working towards any of your goals, there will come a time when sacrifices will have to be made. Sometimes, short-term sacrifices are needed in order to carry out your long-term goals. You have to plan ahead in order to know what sacrifices will have to be made in the future. This avoids any unpleasant surprises. It is important to know that when setting goals for yourself, there are never any failures. Whether or not you've completed your goal, there is always something you can learn from the experience. Don't be discouraged if you don't complete a goal that you set for yourself. Just step back and think about what went wrong and how you can avoid doing the same thing next time. The next thing we are going to learn about is setting SMART goals for yourself. Specific goals have clearly defined targets. If your goals are not specific, you will have no idea when you have achieved them know what you want to improve on and focus on it. For example, a non-specific goal would be, I want to be in better shape. Whereas a specific goal would be, I want to be able to run 5 kilometers by March. Measurable goals have concrete criteria that you can use to measure your progress. They have a defined beginning and end. An example of a non-measurable goal would be, I want to do well in English. Whereas a measurable goal would be, I want to get at least a B in English. The next type of goal is an attainable goal. In order to have an attainable goal, you need to consider what is possible for you to complete in the time frame that you have available. For example, a non-attainable goal would be, I want to run the 100 meter sprint in 8 seconds. An attainable goal would be, I want to run the 100 meter sprint in 15 seconds. This section of your goal checklist is your very own personal and realistic goal. For a realistic goal, you will need to consider how much free time you have, how long each activity takes, and your personal abilities. An example of a non-realistic goal would be, I want to get A's in all of my courses, join three new clubs, play on an intramural sports team, and join the McMaster Orchestra. A more realistic goal would be, I want to get A's in all of my courses, and join one new club. Know what you want to focus your energy on. Remember that there are only 24 hours in a day. The last goal type is a timely goal. Timely goals set deadlines that you need to meet in order to accomplish your goal. Setting smaller deadlines for the individual parts of an assignment can keep you organized and save you from a last minute rush. An example of a non-timely goal would be, I want to study for my biology exam. Whereas a timely goal would be, I will study for my biology exam on February 27th, 28th, and 29th. Know that setting a deadline for the project will give you a finish line to focus on, which can help you stay focused and deliver positive results. Using the SMART framework can help you create personalized and achievable goals. Effective goal setting can set you up to succeed, boosting your confidence and increasing your drive to set bigger and better goals. For lunch today, our menu will be chili with crackers and cheese, 
or pepperoni pizza, salad, and mandarin oranges. Or you can choose a PB&J, grab-and-go, or an Italian salad. Spring pictures will be made tomorrow. Be sure to bring the identification card given to you by your teacher to get your photo. Also, friend photos will be available. Each student who participates must fill out an envelope with the names of the friends in the photo and exactly $8 in the envelope. Regardless of how many are in each photo, each person pays $8 and receives a 5x7 and 4 wallet photos. The Crow's Nest would like to wish a very happy birthday today to Bradley Stoffo Taylor and Miss Teeples. Enjoy your special day. That's the view from the Crow's Nest. Enjoy, Enjoy your hump day.